Okie dokie, how to edit the Blizzard Heroes of the Storm settings. You go down here to the lower right, click on the gear, and you'll get this pop-up. You want to hit Options, Graphics on the side, that's your graphic settings. Um, you want to hit Full Screen, your resolution. Uh, that, that should be automatic. You'll want to disable Vertical Sync. Uh, that basically locks the frames does a lot of restricting and it's horrible um, your graphics quality that kind of sets everything as a whole um, I can handle extreme but I set it to high to get more frames uh, for lower you know specs uh, if you do hover above the the thing it does give you suggested um, probably for a laptop or something like that you may want to stay in the medium low range if it doesn't change all of the uh, settings uh, together, you, what you'll want to do is set reflections off. That sucks up a lot of CPU. Lighting, uh, models, shadows, and shaders are what you mainly want to look at. All of those are very, very CPU and computer uh, hogging. Uh, if you notice you're getting a lot of frames, set shaders uh, down first. Set it to medium. Uh, shadows to medium. Models you can set to medium or low. Uh, same with lighting, just kind of mess with those, see which one gives you the most frames. Uh, post processing, texture quality. Texture quality, that means like the sharpness of an image. Um, again, there will be the suggested uh, from that pop up. Mine's on high, I can handle ultra. I choose not to though. Uh, for a laptop medium, you may want to be in the medium low area. Physics. That's optional. Not too much CPU. Uh, that just means like ragdolls and stuff. Like when bodies fly. Something like that. It's not very big. I would actually recommend off for low end PCs or computers. Terrain, that just means like the actual background. So if you're not looking too closely, you can really get away with low. Again, this is all if you're like, everything's about the graphics. How it looks. If you're in for just a game, just do whatever it takes to get those frames. Uh, movies don't really see a lot of movies so you can really set that on low effects same thing that's just like magic bolts and stuff and honestly it looks just as good on low although high and ultra do look really good low does the job um, that's basically just the graphics sound uh, surprisingly can also help with the frames setting the sound quality to low and putting sound channels to 32 really helps a ton. This uh, helps improve how fast your computer's going. Basically what this does is your sound quality will be on low. Actually, it's still really good. I'm running on a very nice headset. Still pretty good. Uh, sound channel, so that uh, shows how many sounds are playing at once. Uh, 32 is a really good, well-rounded number. And you can experiment as you will. But the higher you go, the more your computer will have to run those sounds. And it can just bog down your machine. Um, let's see here. Headphone mode, do headphone mode does help with low quality sound. Balances out, makes it actually high quality. I believe that's it. Oh, and if you ever want to mess with the chat stuff, there it is. Yeah, that's that should do it for uh, settings. Should help with frames. Oh, and if you want to see your FPS or frames, it's uh, Control Alt F, and it appears in the lower. I mean, the upper left. See FPS, frames per second, 60 constant for me. GPU, that's your graphics card. Memory, how much memory you're running on, stuff like that. So that's about it, and that should get you to some good frames, less lag stuff like that the usual default when you load up a game is usually not correct the suggested do help but like I said if you're noticing you're getting a lot of lag even after using suggested and your frames keep going all over the place set it down low uh, lower each time until you find that hot spot where it really works so there you have it you ready to play Heroes of the Storm oh boy Gold on.